You know, I, I look over the past 22 years of um, the continual growth and expansion of Leafly Construction. My team has um, really earned their spot at the top, and I'm really proud about the knowledge and the portfolio we've built, but I think I'm more proud about how we've done it. We use it as a platform to really, I think, deliver an incredible experience, but also give back to the community. And we also use the platform for our own professional and personal growth. So Atlanta has trusted us as, you know, one of their partners to build out all this office space and healthcare and education. But we want to make sure that we're able to respond back to Atlanta by being a good partner and making sure that we're giving back to the community in a big way. And my entire team that has joined on has not only built, but has also engaged and built in the community, which has been, I think, a differentiator for Leafly Construction. You know, being a woman in my field, I think um, ignorance was bliss early on. I didn't know there was a difference. I didn't even know there was any kind of certification process. I had to have clients tell me there was a certification process. Um, but um, I actually have seen it also as an advantage of coming into a room and being a woman um, that knew her business you could stand out and uh, elevate the game. I think looking back now, over 22 years, we may have only been selected one out of every 15 different opportunities, and that has grown because our company has grown, our talent has grown, our portfolio and experience has grown. And so I think I'm much more um, aware of maybe some of the obstacles and challenges that were in my way because of um, being a woman. Um, but I'm very proud to say that our team is actually in the construction industry. It's only about 9% women as project managers. And with our team, we have over 40% women as project managers. I was um, chair of um, Big Brothers Big Sisters. And um, for many years, we decided to really double down and do something that would help elevate, um, I think, that the brand and help the children and really create a strong foundation um, of resources for the organization and went after a huge capital campaign and was able to secure all that funding and to put that organization that is very near and dear to my heart and just into my family. It's been part of literally my family for the past 20 plus years to put that organization in a position of success um, was, a, was a really, um, I don't know if the right word is powerful but maybe empowering um, and feeling. Um, and I think it's why it's always led me back to different organizations like chairing the Atlanta Women's Foundation and other organizations that are near and dear to my heart. I think there, there needs to be more women in leadership roles just because I think diversity in thought and how we come together is um, healthy for business. It's a good business practice. We have all the same type of thought process coming from gender, backgrounds, or anything. We're not gonna be able to innovate, create, um, solve problems, and to be able to continue to accelerate um, in our business, in our worlds. Advice that I would give to young women um, would be don't feel like you need to know everything when you have a seat at the table. Be very comfortable in what you do know Make sure that your voice is heard. Be curious. Make sure that you're leading with courage. It's okay to lead with courage and be a little uncomfortable, step out of your comfort zone, but also learn and know that you don't have to know everything to take on a role or to take on a new challenge and opportunity.